Welcome, man. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Real quick, um, I got this other camera set up. I don't know how it's coming off. I hope it's coming off decent. I can see a little delay, but we're going to get through this. Oh, my goodness, it's 8.18. I suppose start at 8. Guys, y'all saw the topic. Y'all saw the title. What we're talking about is uh, transmission fluid. All right. Now, I'm sure everybody's uh, heard of the term feel for life or it's sealed for life. You should never go in it. Oh, my goodness. You should never touch it. It is sealed. It's magic. OK, you should never have to open that transmission up. All right. Uh, that's a lot of discrepancy when it comes to that. But we are small people. OK, we can't fight the automotive industry. OK, in other words, if a high power company like ZF that makes transmission, the 8HP transmission for a lot of car makers, if they say it's a feel for life, don't touch it. Who am I to say they lying, man? Go ahead on, touch it, dog. They don't know what they talking about. Yeah, I'm nobody, okay? So it depends on who all you want to believe. Now, ZF is not one of those people that say their transmission or their fluid is lifetime. It's the car makers. And you know what's funny or what's weird is the car makers have that right, okay? They can market their product any way they want to. Now, it's not in ZF, the Transmission Corporation, best interest to counter, you know what I'm saying, to count, oh, they lying. Like ZF built transmissions for Dodge, you know, and Dodge got in a service manager, don't in a service manual not to touch the transmission simply because, what's up, Ken? Simply because uh, they don't think you should. <laughs> now, ZF sitting back going, wait a minute, what they just saying? You, you supposed to. But you can't, they're not going to fight with the, they're not going <laughs> to, they're not going to bite the hand and feed them, right? They're getting paid to produce transmission for these companies. He's not going to go counterintuitive or, you know, counter what they are saying. So they just going to zip it up and shut up. You heard what Chrysler and them said. They say, don't touch it. But, but you said, I do. I ain't saying nothing. You heard, Hey, they pay us. We shutting up. You know what I'm saying? Do what I go listen to JT the car guy, somebody on the internet. They'll get, listen to their opinion. All right. Now, my opinion, we're finna go through some data right quick or article that I found is interesting. Uh what's up, Austin Rivia? Uh Turbo Tom. What's going on, man? We're gonna go through some uh data I found. But guys, it's interesting that um uh, car makers are doing this now. Now I can go back a little history, guys. We haven't always been to this point. There was a time car makers was getting beat up on warranty repairs as it relates to um, the transmission simply because, you know, what I'm saying consumers. OK, and aftermarket shops out there, uh, they was out there installing the wrong fluid in the transmission uh, servicing when it wasn't supposed to be. They was causing problems and Chrysler used to have this huge, gigantic warranty, seven years, 70,000 mile warranty. All right. And people will unintentionally ruin a transmission and bring it in, get another one for free because Christ, they had to honor the warranty. So to counter that, I'm just giving you all a back history. The counter that I think on the NAG, NAG one transmission found in a lot of the I think 69 Dartman got one found in a lot of the Chrysler 300s and cars like that. That transmission, the dipstick went away. You still had a dipstick, too, but the dipstick went away. OK, now. That didn't phase aftermarket companies. They were selling dipsticks. All right. So they making money and going counterproductive to what Chrysler is trying to get y'all to do, which is consumer. Don't touch it until, especially while it's under warranty. Okay. That, that's the way it is. Now, before they gave you a time interval to service your transmission, people weren't following it or people was putting in their own transmission fluid. And the warranty claim was going up higher and higher and higher, making the company look bad. The image was tarnished. So they it's like, finally, no more. We took away the dipstick. That didn't change much. Now we're taking away the dipstick, too. So a lot of the cars now no longer have a transmission dipstick or a transmission dipstick, too. You ain't getting nothing, okay? The ZF 8HP that Dodge used on a rear-wheel drive vehicle as well as the 948 TE ZF transmission for the front wheel drive vehicle. There is no tube or no transmission dipstick. Now, hear me out. Here's a thing. Here's how they think. I talked about this before. Their thinking goes if there's no sign of leaks, guys, I mean, you let the car up in the air, you know, 
oily substance would give off a oily looking appearance, right? Transmission fluid. If there is no sign of any leaks at all, technically your transmission is still full from the factory. That's the way they look at it. So in other words, there's no need to check it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was literally explaining it this way at the training center. Don't even bother checking it because it, number one, for the real wheel drive transmission, that kind of funky how you check the level of the transmission fluid. Okay. Yeah. And the front wheel drive car, they give us a little tube about that long to stick in there and see if it's full. So I, I'm i all for that because I don't want to fight trying to get in there and check. I, I raised the car up in there. I, I don't see no sign of nothing. That means you still full, player. Yeah, because it's a big hassle to even check the level of the fluid. So in their eyes, if there's no sign of leak, damn it, you still full. Now, let's get back to the topic at hand. Uh, feel for life. Lifetime fluid transmission when it blows up. <laughs> Okay, Dad's Garage. Listen, man. Uh, JT, you are a trained technician and know better than a. <laughs> yes, uh, but there's only so much I can say. I can't go uh, never service a. Yeah, that's crazy. I can't on record go out saying, don't listen to them. <coughs> service your transmission. Yeah, so I got to be careful with what I say. All right. Yes, my own cars or my own personal customer cars. That's a whole different story. Guys, let's talk about, uh, let's read some uh, some of this article right here. All right. Now, guys, a feel for life. So if one hear that, they would think they fluid will remain. Just say if this the, this orange stuff right here, this was the proper fluid color of their fluid. <coughs> when you hear the term feel for life, you would think, my shit, 100,000 miles later, my fluid still going to look like this? Oh, cool. <sighs> Not so, guys. Let's go over some of these things. All right. Uh, what does lifetime transmission fluid really mean? I'm going to read a little piece of this. Many vehicles and transmission manufacturers commonly use marketing statements. Y'all hear that? Marketing statements. Lifetime transmission fluid and seal for life transmission in their owner's or owner's manual. Consequently, many vehicles and transmission manufacturers maintenance schedule may no longer suggest a transmission fluid interval. Okay? It's I get that. Yeah, they don't they think you shouldn't mess with it. Now, that can affect a lot of the companies that was benefiting from selling service. All right. The Jiffy Lubes, the Pep Boys, the Firestone. They made a killing off service maintenance. All right. Yeah. So when you now making the majority of your vehicles and you putting in your owner's manual that don't worry about it. Yeah. Those companies, you know, what I'm saying. They was thriving off of that. Now that that's not available, they got to find another way to get in y'all pockets. All right. The statement lifetime, lifetime feel for life or seal for life used by vehicle and transmission manufacturers is typically understood to indicate that the transmission fluid and transmission filter will last the lifetime of the vehicle while under warranty. All right. Typical warranty. What? Powertrain warranty. 60,000 miles. All right. So technically, your transmission is a lifetime transmission up until 60,001 mile. It's no longer a lifetime transmission. You're on your own at that point. So you might as well service it to help prolong the life of it. All right. You managed to get through 60,000 miles of driving without any transmission problem. The way car makers think is uh, if you have any problems before 60,000 miles, you don't need a service anyway. Bring it in and let us check it out if you think you got problems. All right. But that's the thing. On this ZF transmission is so built so precise that you may you may not have no problems for the first 60,000 miles. All right. They I've seen these trans these transmissions are fairly bulletproof, guys. We don't do a lot of work on them. Okay. They found they're the rear wheel drive units and the front wheel drive units. So I can contest to that. I don't see hardly none of these breaking down. Uh, it was some more of this I want. For example, statements like these have become common among many popular transmission manufacturers, including the Asian. Okay, yeah, the ZF transmission. All of these companies that use these, including Toyota, your favorite, you know, car maker, Audi, BMW, Land Rover, Jaguar, Chrysler, Dodge, G Ram, and others. Most vehicle manufacturers will base the schedule service interval and recommend transmission fluid changes. On the result of durability testing. 
So when the engineers built the transmission and they came up with these factors, they deemed it necessary that you shouldn't need a transmission service. Okay, here go a good point right here. Typically, these tests are associated with duration of expected warranty coverage period. In some cases, five year or 100,000 miles is recommended. If the transmission testing results in minimum failure rate, the automatic transmission fluid may be approved by the factory as a transmission first field. All right, let's go to this one. Do I need to change lifetime field transmission fluid? Yeah, I get asked that all the time. Uh, 84 now, Paul. Uh, despite some automotive <laughs> experts suggesting that you do not need to change your transmission fluid, we feel this is poor advice. I'm one of I'm one of those guys that think this is terrible advice. But remember, guys, you can't go against the grain. Okay, you can't bite the hand that feeds you. In this case, you can't bite the company that feeds you. Well, you know, I'm gonna get on record. I'm gonna make a video saying, "Man, don't listen to Chrysler. They don't know what the hell they talking about." <laughs> go ahead and change your fluid, dog. They don't know. What all right, here are a few good logic reasons why we feel that all transmission fluids should be changed regardless of what your car maker suggests. For example, uh, ZF makes a popular eight-speed transmission for, for Dodge and Chrysler, all right? Uh, now, for many vehicle manufacturers, recommend the transmission fluid be changed every 50,000 miles or eight years, whichever occur first. So ZF, this is the company that make the transmission. They have a difference of opinion. But again, they're not going to bite the hand and feed them either. They're not going to say, don't read Chrysler manual. Yeah, they got a car without transmission in and they're telling you not to service it, but they're not going to say that. It, it just ain't going to, you can't bite the hand and feed you guys. Transmissions have hundreds of moving components such as needle bearings, pressure pumps, clutch packs, servo piston, valves, and seals. These internal components mesh with one another begin to wear and create fine metallic particles which contaminate the automatic transmission fluid. They're making the case for why you should do it. Guys, every pan I take off uh, have debris like this, okay? And that, by the way, guys, it's normal. Every time you start your car and go, there's some form of wear that just happened. It could be minimum. It may be a lot. It doesn't matter. That's normal. Every part on your car is designed to wear out at some point. It's going to wear out. And the transmission fluid is no, no exception. And with the transmission parts is it, no exception. Okay? From our 30-year hands-on automotive experience, there is no such thing as a truly... Did y'all hear this? Uh-uh. I'm highlighting this. What up, Fluff Dog? Check this out, Fluff. Don't change your train fluid. Burn, build a great relationship with your mechanic. He going to appreciate you. Check this out right here. I got to highlight this. From our 30 years of hands-on automotive experience, there is no such thing as a truly seal for life or lifetime transmission fluid. Over time, guys, uh-uh, I got to highlight this part. Over time, over time, y'all hear me? Over time, all transmission fluid will eventually deteriorate, break down, and become contaminated, and will need to be changed, Okay. So suppose your goal is the long-term reliability of your car or truck and you plan to drive it for well over 100,000 miles. Right. Why wouldn't you? God, you got to understand the reason behind a transmission service is to simply help prolong the life of your transmission. Okay, here goes. They talking about dealerships now. Some dealerships recommend that you wait for the transmission to give signs of problems. <laughs> Again, I ain't no snitch. I ain't no freaking snitch. You ain't not about to hear me say don't listen to them dealerships. They crazy. They done lost their mind. You ain't going to hear Fluff Dog going against the dealer. Oh, whoever work in a dealer. It just ain't going to happen. Okay? And now we, it's only so much little guys like me. And I ain't finna, hey, man, let me let me do this again. Some dealerships recommend that you wait for the transmission to give signs of problems. So forget, throw away preventive maintenance. PM. Y'all heard the term PM, preventive maintenance. If you do a service, you likely can prevent uh, some problems down the road. All right, but some dealerships recommend that you wait for the transmission to give signs of problem, then bring it in for service or transmission. That's the whole point of preventive maintenance. This is typically suggested to get the vehicle through. Oh my goodness, this article is just uh uh, guys. I might get in trouble for this. Uh uh, wait a minute. I'm gonna do a little bit more and I'm cutting this off, man. I'm going against the grain right now. I can't afford to do that. Uh, Dr. Art, what's up, man? Sealed does not mean non serviceable. <laughs> Look, guys, 
<laughs> I had to highlight this, and I'm going to leave this article alone because I might be getting myself in trouble. This is typically suggested to get the vehicle. All right, let me highlight this whole thing. This is my last note on this. All right, some dealerships recommend that you wait for the transmission to give you some problems, then bring it in for service. All right, this is typically suggested to get the vehicle through its warranty duration period. If the vehicle manufacturer only says to change the fluid or remove the transmission pan, if it is leaking or an issue exists, when the valve body or toe converter, the damage is already done. Regular fluid and filter change can prevent many issues with it. Yes, I got to leave this alone. <laughs> I most certainly got to leave this alone. Yes, they're getting too graphic uh, for me. Okay. More of the story, guys. This looks like a ZF transmission setup right here. Remember, guys, you can't replace the filter independently. You have to uh, you have to get a pan because the filter is integrated into the uh, into the trans pan. So if you're ever doing a, a service on a ZF transmission, then, yeah. But uh, this article is getting into dangerous territory for me. Picture the example. Transmission service performing our repair shop. ZF, uh, blah, blah, blah. 80,000 miles. The customer complained. A shifting problem. Now, let me cover this also because I got to get done with this article. They're going to get me in trouble. Let me cover this also. Listen, uh, this transmission is uh, uh, electronically controlled. In other words, there's a computer that uh, controls it, uh, operates it, all right? Uh, monitor its function. There's a computer, TCM. I uploaded a video the other day showing where this particular TCM is at. Guys, it's part of the valve body, okay? So, Knowing that uh, you can't just somebody asked me this and I'm going to make a short video answering this question. Uh, he's like, I mean, a valve body to in fact, I'm going to let this footage play in order to remove a pan or a valve body or replace a valve body, which is the TCM. OK, you have to. Uh, it's simple. You take the pan off. It's no different than a regular transmission service, guys. All I'm doing is removing the boats. From the pan. This is one of those seal for life. You should never change fluid. Uh, but this truck got a hundred thousand miles, and I recommend it to this customer. And it's expensive, guys, because the fluid is expensive as well as the pan and the uh, gasket. But let me finish my thought. It's computer control, right? Uh, to smell the date. <laughs> it's computer control, right? So a lot of your problems, guys, stem from a uh, software issue. Y'all got to keep this in mind. All right, just because you felt a bump when you came to a stop does not always mean you have internal trans problem. Okay, now it, there's nothing you can do as the consumer, right? So you are limited to where you take your car, in my opinion. And this always come off as being biased. I suggest you take it to a freaking dealership. All right, now JT, why well, you always got to recommend a dealership? Uh, like I said, it, it's going to come off as being biased, guys. That's in 360. Lord have mercy. So I recommend you take it to a, a dealer because, number one, they got the – and this is no knock to Dad's Garage and uh, Lakeside and Modem and all your other um, – uh, um, Uncle Gene, – Gene, what's up, Gene? Change your fluid, 45K. Gene, you said 45K, all right? I'm a little higher. I go 4K. Listen. That's what I'm doing right here on this job. Like I say, it had 100,000 miles. I told the customer he in for his 90K service. <laughs> Even that's going bye-bye. So we're doing the diff. It's a four-wheel drive, I think. We're doing both diff, the transfer case. I'm like, why the hell are you going to not do the – why are we going to do your whole drivetrain system, service your drivetrain system, and leave out the transmission? Because the car man say it don't need it. You should never do it. I said, look, man. Uh, Dude, you're getting everything serviced. You're getting all your fluids done. You might want to go in and get your transmission to it. And I gave him an estimate. He said, go ahead and do it, man. You're right. So here's my new filter right here, guys. It's integrated into the pan. I lube this O-ring up. You cannot separate these two. I've known some guys that, oh, my goodness, y'all are stubborn little suckers, ain't you? Yeah. A guy trying to take the filter out and put in a new filter. I guarantee you, give it a year. Some company going to make uh, aftermarket pans, aftermarket uh uh when you start seeing yeah i agree man when you start seeing silver or metal that's when <laughs> you be worried yeah some company's gonna make some uh 
aftermarket filter to where they're replaceable now. Now, guys, I don't know if y'all seen. Yeah, this is the only right here. This little boat right here. That's the only entry port to this transmission. Only one way in, one way out, except for the coolers that's going to the front. But another thing this prevented, and Fluff, you know what I'm talking about? Uh, Jiffy Lube them all. They used to have a tendency of putting fluid in the wrong port. They put brake fluid where the transmission fluid go. You can't get this wrong. Okay, that's the fluid right there. This car take eight and nine speed ATL. I'm sucking it out. I had to go to Harbor Freight, no Northern, and get this little pump to to suck it out of here and go into the transmission. Okay, so this is how I got this. I had to go buy this too. This is how I service ZF transmission. You drain the fluid by taking the pan off, and look how close that is to the exhaust. And the pan is plastic. Okay, <laughs> go figure. The pan is plastic and it's right next to a hot exhaust. Alrighty. Well, anyway, uh, and you notice this pan got a drain plug on it, I think. But this is the only way in and the only way out if you have no drain pan, no drain plug. All right, so I'm filling it back up. Guys, let me finish my thought on the electronic part. You do not always have internal trans problem as it relates to any transmission that's computer controlled. All right, like 80 to 90 percent computer control. Everything is fully electronic in so many words. All right. So you have a couple of options at your disposal. There's a 80 percent chance. All you need is your computer uh, updated. Guys, from time to time, car makers will issue these updates based off consumer reporting. All right. If they keep getting complaints, man, when I come to a stop, I feel a bump. They can literally write out programming. Uh, to allow for shift solenoids to open or close when you come into a stop to prevent that. So they will write the programming up, send it out to their servers. So when a dealer mechanic hook up his scan to and he have that complaint, he can see ah, that's a flash update for that problem. He flashed the car, the problem gone. Okay, so y'all got to get out of the habit of always thinking this is a full-blown um uh, uh internal trans problem okay when the last time you flushed power steering man easy <laughs> was you way out there okay uh junk what's up Wyman <laughs> but listen so my point is let me go big because I gotta wrap this up my point is uh it's not always internal guys okay um I'm being serious you know because if you go to a shop let me put it like this we used to have transmission men's men okay Guys that specialize in transmission. I was one a while back. And then I started doing the whole car because I want to do transmission all freaking day, day in, day out. No. But listen, anyway, when you're dealing with a guy that specializes in transmission and you bring your car in and your complaint, even so much as mention the word transmission, the first thing coming to his mind, ding, another overhaul. I got an overhaul, overhaul. That's a... <laughs> That's just the nature of the business, guys. The guy probably was sitting around and had nothing to do, and you messed around and had the slightest complaint with that was transmission related. Your transmission finna get overhauled, recommended or something. So a lot of the car makers and warranty companies like, okay, these guys, they just overhauling everything. I guarantee you a lot of those repairs needed simple things, but because an overhaul paid more. And again, I ain't no snitch. I'm not over here snitching or giving away how shops operate. I'm just saying. That's where a lot of stuff was eliminated, okay? The transmission specialist essentially eliminated. I moved over to, I was already, you know, fluent in everything else on the car anyway. So it was no nothing to me to start doing everything. All right, now the transmission man that solely do transmission, he should out of luck, okay? Like, what am I going to do now? I, I get one transmission per week. And they building the transmission good enough to where there's no overhauling on, on top of that um you can't get no parts anyway all right so yeah it's crazy dad's 22 wrangler waiting on transmission that's on back order already replaced valve body we are that's the thing guys it's only one or two things oh i didn't mean to highlight that why am you gonna get me in trouble people already got their doubts you over 2022 that's an isolated incident guys don't pay no attention to Wyman. he just they got one that was built on a friday that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. These Jeep Wranglers are bulletproof. Ryman, I bet you that I bet that Jeep, some of the Jeeps don't use the plastic pan. Some of them use uh the steel or the metal pan. 
okay? Simply because that's an off-road vehicle. You don't want a Jeep Wrangler splashing up and down, going through terrain, and you know, with a plastic transmission pan. Now, it's going to be a brace under there anyway, covering that up. But still, uh, just in case that brace ain't there. 2100 Oh, Wyman, stop. Oh, my goodness. Again, guys, Wyman bought one that was built on Friday, so we're really not going to pay him no mind. All right, that is terrible, Wyman. That is just terrible. Uh, transmissions are going away. What do you mean they're going away? Who is this? Dar <laughs> Hey, he got a point, man. Life after mechanic. I wonder what that's going to be like. Okay. Uh, that's why I'm heavy vested in YouTube. Okay. I'm going to be sitting there. I'm going to be doing a Scotty Kilmore. Scotty Kilmore got out when he got old. So now he can just sit in his chair and do this all day and make a good guy. All right. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> As you age, you got to think about the future, guys. Uh, but, yeah. Okay. Uh, Dar Hemi, why you had to remind us of that? All right. So, Yep, use uh I added a drain plug to my okay, you added a drain plug to the so you can drain it. That makes sense. Uh lemon law next. No, wait a minute, stop, man. Give him a chance to fix it. All you need is a transmission. I told you, Wyman, you got one that was built on a Friday. Stop it. All right. Stop it already. Okay. <laughs> Wyman, that's that's a friend of mine, guys. I know him. Uh, I used to work with him. Uh, no more transmission, guys. Uh, no more transmission shop. Oh, they gone. Bye-bye. When last time electric vehicles off a firebomb? <laughs> All right. Uh, Darhemi got a point. Uh, there used to be a couple of transmission plates. Mr. Transmission. There used to be a... Uh, damn. It was one that was real popular. Uh, investing classic. No, no, Darhemi. Uh, But all those transmission places, just like just brakes, all those brake places, they're going bye-bye. All right. That's simply because uh, consumers or the the industry is going to the industry is just uh, what's the word y'all like to use all the time when stuff just going obsolescence and all that old crazy stuff. Y'all kill me with these fancy big old words. Uh, uh, playing obsolescence. I can't even pronounce it. But y'all know what I'm talking about. And when your transmission have a problem, you getting a new one. OK, that's what killed JT. The transmission man no longer exists simply because the way the repair industry has changed. Okay. Yes. I haven't overhauled a freaking 62 TE in about three years. So, uh, yeah. And we got, we're hiring a bunch of young guys that can simply swap them out quicker than the guys that was around and when he was building them. All right. It's just time phase guys. Yeah. So that's a time phase to everything. Uh, I don't know about this. Uh, Darhemi always had a suggestion. I'm uh, okay. I thought you were saying get you one. Classic cars would need rebuilds. <laughs> the technicians of today, Darhemi, gonna simply write you up an estimate to replace it. All right, <laughs> just the way it is. All right, I left Mopar, but still watch your video. That's what's up, Jacob. All right, a deer hit my Jeep. You got a Jeep with a full lead in it, and insurance totaled the car. Damn. That was the end of me for Mopar product. Oh, wow. Uh, sorry to hear that, Jacob. I hope you survive uh, that. What was it, a crash or whatever? Our early charger base cars are fairly close to classic and repairable now. Yeah. Um, yes, classic will always need rebuilt. Expensive cars, JT. I ain't interested. Barbie has a sealed transmission with two. <laughs> All right. I know I jumped to the bottom. Hey, I got to highlight my buddy, man. Where'd he go? Yes, my dog. Fluff dog. Don't change your transmission fluid. Build a great relationship with your mechanic. He's going to appreciate you. One well, Mr. Fluffy Mexicanic, man. I appreciate the donation, guys. We talk about this all the time. It goes back into the channel where we can do some nice, creative things around here. Especially, I'm closing in on 200,000 subscribers. I don't know why that number just... I woke up one morning, I had like 560 in one night. So, it's the shorts. All right? There's no other way to, you know what I'm saying, short spread you out. Okay? I look at the analytics it's the freaking shorts, okay? So if you got something against shorts, expect to grow slow. Hey, that rhyme. Yeah, expect to grow slow. I had to latch on to shorts because I was skeptical. Man, it sucks, man. I ain't going to make no money. And mind you, when I got in it, the, YouTube wasn't paying for shorts. So I got a lot of high-viewed videos that I didn't get make no money off of because at the time, YouTube wasn't paying. Now they is. You can't. Like a video was seen by 
1.5 million people. Like Fluffy got one, 3 million. The video was, you can't pull that down and re upload it. You're going to have the same people like, wait a minute, dog. I'm one of those 3 million that had already seen that, dog. You trying to trick me, dog. Some people like call me out, like, dude, you already uploaded that. Wait a minute, dog. I'm like, man, my, I done, my whole, I got a whole new audience now. <laughs> people ain't seen this. And it, it's my video. I do what I want to. All right. We can't dwell on the past. Appreciate that, Fluff Dog. Goes back into uh, the freaking channel. Recommend your channel. Uh, YouTube recommending your channel. MJ Pierce, what you think, buddy? I try to be on my best behavior on Sundays. All right. Now, Thursday, uh, it's a little bit out of control. Uh, MJ Pierce, all right. We be clowning around, acting a fool. Okay. Dark Hemi be saying dumb stuff all the time. Uh, 69 Dark Man be in here a lot. I appreciate that. OG subscribers. Uh, Fluffy Mexicanic would show up. Dad's Garage, Lace Garage. I don't want to leave anybody out, but all these guys show up. So it's like a network of family. <laughs> Hey, my good friend, Evelyn Rodriguez. How are you, my friend? I hope you had a a wond wondurious, a wonderfulest. What's the word I'm looking for? I hope you had a happy birthday. Uh, yeah, man. One Another day older and deeper in debt. <laughs> That's the way I look at birthdays now. Damn, I'm another year older and deeper in debt. Like, when is it in? Like, hey, yo, wake up. I'm, all, I'm done with the transmission, guys. <laughs> so we in clown. It's clown 30 right now, right? Okay. Hey, I woke up and go, nah, it's got to be more to life than just this. I go to work, wake up, or I wake up, go to work, make money, pay bills, and do this vicious cycle all over again. Guys, that's why vacations are so important. Okay. All right. And look at me. Look, look at me talking. I ain't had one in a minute. I need to take one. Okay. You got to clear your mind. But for some reason, with the inventions of these little critters here, it's hard to stay awake. I was on vacation one time. Still YouTubing. Like, ah, oh, man, what's up, man? What the hell are you talking? Still cussing folks out in the comments. Still talking smack. You got to let that stuff go. Block it out. Okay. Even when I'm in the gym working out, I'm still finding myself YouTubing for some reason. I think it's, I'm addictive, man. Like, what the hell, JT? Stop. That's always a weird comment out there uh, that need to be answered. Okay. Uh I stopped with the credit cards getting out of debt. <laughs> hey, smart, smart girl. <laughs> getting out of that same money retirement and work part-time. That's what's up, Evelyn Rodriguez. I feel you on that. Appreciate the donation. Like I said, guys, um, that goes back into the channel. Fluffy Mexican and Evelyn Rodriguez, I appreciate y'all. Um, the channel is going just as planned. Got big things planned for it. And every donation no matter the amount, every donation counts and matters to me. All right. Uh, 2020 is the up speed, 33,000 miles. So when do you recommend trans service? Kathy, listen to me and listen to me good. The ZF 948TE transmission, which is the front wheel drive transmission Chrysler used from ZF. All right. There is no way to technically service that transmission. In other words, you can't service it. And now, if your definition of service is replacing a filter, which is my definition of service, then you can't because you will have to take the trans out. The filter is located on top of the pump. All right. So the transmission will have to be taken out and disassembled just to replace a freaking filter. Oh, my God. Why? 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 They had nowhere else to put it, guys. I did some research on that and I was shocked. Okay, the way that transmission is designed and balled up, I bet engineers was going, okay. You know, they all got triple A's. They all got A's through college and high school. They geeks, nerds. Hey, buddy, we got the transmission built, but we still got this filter. Where are we going to put it? And the other engineer going, maybe we don't need it. The other engineer going, but every transmission got to have some filtration. I mean, when the torque converter break down, that trash got to be stopped. You don't want it going back into. We got a little room left right here on the top. Yeah, let's put it there. So they stuck it right there, which means it is not serviceable. That's the only place they had left, guys. I ain't taking up for them. That's just the only place they had left to put the damn filter. So it's there. Now. It counting on you never have to replace it. And Captain, the answer to your question is um, you can't service it. The only thing you can do on a ZF 
front wheel drive 948 te transmission is drain and refill all right that's the only thing you can do that you basically finding a way yeah that's a drain plug on that so you to remove the drain plug and let you only going to get about four or five quarts out drain that out go back in with the same amount all you just did was remove the oil filter or remove the fluid and went back in with new fluid. What did you change by doing that? I got four quarts of new fluid now mixed with my other five quarts. What is the whole 13 total, maybe 12? So what kind of reaction is going to happen? I, I, now, the thinking goes, and I'm against flush. I'm not a transmission flush guy at all. Even though that's a, that was a lucrative thing to do, we made a lot of money off of it, but I'm against it. And you don't have to listen to me. I mean, if you, everything I say, guys, is my opinion. I, I need y'all to understand that, right? You, you don't have to do what I say. I just like, because I have a channel, people look for my opinion. So I tend to give it automatically. But please don't be under no constraint. I got to listen to JT. No, you don't. You don't. It's just my opinion. Uh, I got to wrap this up. Kathy, only thing can happen on that transmission is a drain and refill. And uh, I, I do those at work. Again, once the warranty out. Guys, as long as you're in warranty, you are not to touch the transmission. If you got a transmission problem and you in warranty, simply take it to the shop. They're going to fix it. It's free. <laughs> it's a powertrain warranty. <coughs> so technically, it's free. Go get it checked out. Now, if you're thinking proactively and trying to prolong the life of it, you just shouldn't think that way until your warranty is up. That's a counterproductive thing, the way to think, ain't it? I got to move on. Sorry, Captain. That's just the way it is. Okay, my Jeep Cherokee, I did a drain and refill on it. Took out four or five quarts, went back in. Maybe the next time I'd bring out more four or five quarts. Because the fluid is going to mix, there's no way... Can I get four quarts, five quarts of that old dirty fluid that was before the new fluid? Nah, dog, it's stirred up now, dog. It's mixed up. So you're going to get a little bit of all of it. You can't, there's no way you can just get the bad stuff out. It's not going to set at the bottom and come out first when you remove the drain plug. Wait a minute. Ah. Yes, I got to move on. Um, What dark hear me talking about? Nine cents per thousand shorts. Dude, you done done the math. You about right. <laughs> You're exactly about right. <laughs> Don't hear me done, done the math. Okay, it's a little bit technical on the full video, but this, this is just about right. So it take a lot to make a hundred bucks on, but you take a million views to get a damn hundred bucks off a freaking short. But guys, there's a billion people in America. So just, Don't hear me, stop crying. Just convince some of that billion people to watch it. There you have it. A billion times nine cents. <laughs> no, forget a billion, half of that. 500 million times nine, round it off, 10 cents. What is that? All right. It's a lot of people in the world that we ain't even close to touching. Dar Hemi always breaking stuff down. I'm into repairing my own. That's what's up, MJ Pierce. Do your thing, my friend. That is what's up. I always say, if you're capable of doing your own stuff, go for it. You haven't said one word how much that liquid go eight, nine speed track. I don't know. Wyman, you're a parts guy. Tell me. Wyman, how much is it? Wyman, always talking smack. Um, uh, what do you mean gold? There's some uh lick. Oh, okay, he just called it gold. But the eight nine speed fluid guys that I showed on that video, uh, it's fairly expensive. I don't know, 30, 30, 30 bucks a quart or something like that. I'm about to stroll to the bottom now and see if Wyman uh answered that question for me. But um, uh, I have no idea what that fluid costs off the back. Okay, um, no, that, well, I got I got a hundred bucks off. I, one of my videos just crossed a million views. I looked at the analytic; it paid out a hundred bucks. It was more than what I had yesterday, and it took me one minute to make the video. <laughs> okay, short videos are sixty seconds. That is the equivalent to one minute, <laughs> right? Right. So if it take you one minute to make a video and you upload it and you garnish a million views. And somebody give you a hundred dollars for doing it. That's a win-win for everybody involved, right? Now I'm thinking about it, guys. There's a overhead, right? I mean, you had to buy the camera. You got to. You didn't even got to edit a short. Just talk for a minute. 
and upload it. Uh, but you got to invest. You up. And guys, a lot of people still thinking they got to go out and buy thousand dollar cameras. Everything in your pocket now is all you need in life. <laughs> without this, I'm nothing. I'm nobody. Without this, I can't live without this. I went to work one time. I forgot it. I was driving. I said, oh, oh hell no! I bust a U-turn in the middle of the street. Police was right there going. He must have forgot his phone. I bet that happened to me one time. I ain't gonna even stop you, dog. Just go ahead, go on. Don't even worry about it, player. I know. I've been there. I forgot my phone one time too. The cop police can tell a real quick U-turn. They know what that means. They like, like, I bet he forgot his phone. He talking, he eating a donut, talking to his buddy. <laughs> that dude right there in that damn uh, minivan or that red P uh Nissan. Speaking of Nissan, I bet he forgot his phone. That, that's why don't even don't put don't turn the lights on. Let him slide down. Nissan, my Nissan going to work tomorrow. Uh, I got to upload this short today. Y'all dogging me out about my little Nissan, man. Give me a break, man. It's a 94 model. I ain't going to mess with y'all. I ain't fooling with y'all. Uh, what did I leave off at? Because I got to wrap this up. Uh, just after warranty, I think. Yeah. Uh, when you're out of warranty, you out of That's your lifetime. I stopped, <laughs> I stopped with the credit card. Uh, <coughs> MJ Pierce. That's what's up, man. You done seen a lot, I bet you. I bet you got some stories to tell. Woo. When I get that age, I'm going to go with my grandkids. Man, let me tell y'all. Boy, when I was young, boy, I was a bad dude. Boy, I built them transmission, them Chrysler, them 3.6, and Hemi, them ticking job. Boy, your pop, your grandpa, boy, I used to kill it, boy. I used to be able to stop them cars from ticking like it ain't nothing, boy. You want to be a mechanic? You want to be a mechanic? Yeah, but what's a Hemi? Young generation ain't going to They ain't going know what the hell a Hemi is. Guys, it's, that's why I say. Anybody that's jumping into this field now, what are they going to learn? Like, are you going to go backwards? Like, you can't, you wake up tomorrow. I want to be a mechanic. I'm going to school. I'm signing up for school. What is the training going to be on right now? Are you going to go backwards? Gasoline combustion engine? Or are you going forward? EV stuff. Like, I bet the trade schools are, like, confused now. What do we do? What do we cheat? What, what, how do we train the upcoming new mechanics? I mean, because gasoline combustion engines technically ain't going nowhere. All right. And you need to know this. You need to know where you come from before you know where you're going. I don't know if I said that right. So I'm going to leave it alone. What up? One start. Uh, what? Mim J. Pierce. That's what's up, man. Like I said, I bet you done seen a lot of stuff. 04 PT Cruiser for 400. Dude, they is dropping like flies, man. We exceeded the value of one lady brought her car in. Like, ma'am, you know it's $200 for us to check it out, right? But the car ain't worth $200. That's probably why you shouldn't be here. But what's wrong with it? So I tried it, you know. Yeah, ma'am, listen. Okay, this is probably your problem. I helped her out, you know, did what I could. Tell your grandson, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because she ain't, she ain't trying to hear that get rid of the cost, though. Uh, dollar with one rig fender. Should I? Hey, go for it, man. 04 PT. That's the first gen. Ain't no tip them on that car. Okay, so you should be fine. My YouTube channel is taking off. Darhemi. Have y'all seen Darhemi channel? He always say that, but I never can find his ass on YouTube. See, Darhemi got obviously several YouTubes, right? The one he own now. Um, uh, I don't know why you don't live stream or why you don't get in people live stream on that one, so they can just easily pull that up. But y'all go check out my man Darhemi. I can't, I got this other video up. I can't pull it up now. Uh, Darhemi channel. It's taking off. Let's go, man. Let's put in some work, man. Some shorts. We need some shorts from you, Darhemi. Uh, MJ, as long as you're healthy and don't hurt yourself, keep doing it. Uh, I'm still climbing ladder. Oh, that's what's up, man. Be careful out there. 69. Dark man. I always thought the 69 meant your age. What was I wrong? Maybe you should be called 64. Dark man. How's that? Think about it. And then when you turn 69, you can go back to 69 dark man. Interesting. Who designed a vehicle to be so hard to service? So hard. <laughs> MJ Pierce. Uh, engineers, man. But they you can't engineers, they they get they get a bad rap, man. Y'all gotta cut them some slack, man. They they're being dealt, they're working with the hand that they're dealt. Okay. They're, a lot of it. It's their call, but a lot of it, they have no choice but to do it this way based off 
some kind of dumb regulation that the government has pushed on them. All right. You can make it that way. But long as we get zero emission at eight o'clock in the morning. OK. Go ahead. Put that sensor right there or build that frame to where it won't block that sensor. If you well, ain't got the only way I can design the frame is going to block the last O2 sensor. All right. So as long as it doesn't affect emissions at eight o'clock in the morning, that's technically that sensor should last 100,000 miles. Who cares about the general mechanic? All right. <laughs> we engineers, we don't care about mechanics. No way. Right. They all in the room. Right. Oh, mechanics. Mechanics sucks. Mechanics sucks. <sighs> See, y'all got me in. I, I, I got to let me stop. What's up? TTV toxic mad YouTube. What's going on, my friend? How are you, man? Um, if the PT Cruiser runs, that's not bad. Parts are not hard, are now hard to find. New parts are hard to find. Ask if the car comes with <laughs> Lee happened to own a PT. Lee, be easy, man. They don't care about service, they want ease of manufacture on the assembly line. I agree. Bottom line, what's up, man? I seen you in a long time. Can you service a nag? Yes, nag one. Five speed transmission, guys. It's serviceable. Easy too. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six T30 torque bits holding that pan on. No RTV, guys. It's a gasket to go around the pan. Bloop. It's a filter, replaceable filter. Pull it out. Oh, this is one of the easiest ones you can service. And go back in with ATF plus four. That should hold you for a while. The problem, early problem we had with the nags was um the leaking at the cup plug they fixed that a long time ago and uh ac water drain used to drop down in that transmission hole but that wasn't the transmission prop fault that was a design fault they got the ac drain tube uh coming out let me see what wyman talking about or have it told oh okay um but yes bottom line you can't service a nag one real easy man i work on vehicles because i can't walk very far and working on vehicles doesn't require much forward motion MJ Pierce, that's what's up, man. All right. The PT on it. Go for it, my dude. Uh, get it. Get it. Or have it towed. Go get it. Go get it. My BMW have a ZF 250K on it. That's what's up. Uh, Gene, 1984. Uh, when you say ZF, I'm thinking they all close build. Okay, especially if it's rear wheel drive, front wheel drive. So it, it's similar. What's going on, Billy Bo Baggin? Jobs and what's going on, JT? Any big jobs in the shop? What am I working on tomorrow? I don't know if you're keeping up with the shorts, but I did this shorts on a charger. That remember the guy that put the wrong, the company that put the not didn't put the wrong transmission. They put a transmission in, and it didn't need a transmission. Okay, now I was reading those comments. A lot of guys were saying it probably needed one anyway, dog. Two hundred thousand miles. Try explaining that to a customer. Okay, you can't convince a customer, ma'am. It probably needed it anyway. I, I just spent three grand. What the hell you mean? It probably needed. I still got the exact same problem I had before you put it in. So you can't tell a customer, don't even worry about that. You probably was going to need it next week anyway. It don't work like that. Okay. And that customer, eyes, you screwed up. I don't know if she fighting with them, going to get her money back or what, but I got to work on that tomorrow. That's a big job simply because they only approve the oil pump. Remember, guys, I told y'all in that video, this is a, a VVT problem. $35 a quart for ZF fluid. This is ZF, uh, that's an oil pressure problem, okay? So I wrote up an estimate, cam phases and all that because of the cam codes. All the customer wanted is an oil pump, all right? So I, that's a big job. Not a big job, but I can't make it appear easy. It's easy for me. Number one, I've done a bunch and I know of shortcuts. I cannot make videos involving shortcuts guys that would give off the wrong impression all right uh and you know you don't get a lot of views from mechanics anyway when a me here's how a mechanic do when a mechanic go to watch videos on youtube he'll log in right he'll look at the title i found one on the problem you're gonna click <laughs> spacing until you get to that problem i know because i'm guilty of it everybody every mechanic is guilty no mechanic is gonna sit down and watch the whole damn 10 minutes all right they trying to find that sensitive spot all right, he talking about the problem right here. Oh, that's how you do it. I'm out. So, right, you don't get no view time with mechanics. So, I ain't, I ain't making videos for specific mechanic. I try to make videos for people that's, that's going to get something out of it. 
that's going to sit down and watch it and likely get something out of it. Mechanics ain't that. I, I'm guilty of it, guys. I, you might get 10 seconds out of me. All right, that's if I'm good. Normally, right halfway in between the video, you're going to finally talk about the title of your video. <laughs> that's just how it is, man. I, hey, I don't make the rules. But, uh, yeah, so I don't make videos on shortcuts because it likely will get – It'll get a bunch of clicks as far as views, but it won't get no watch time because people are gonna go right to the section of what I what what the shortcut at, right? So I had this is a business now, guys. So I'm thinking business, I have business minded now. Okay, my decisions are business related, right? So if I can't see a reason or financial or revenue good reason to do a certain thing, I probably won't do it. I don't have time to waste anymore. So it's got to make sense. Let me put it that way. Guys, we finally found out what a quarter of 8.9 speed uh, transmission fluid costs. This is coming from a parts guy. He he know his stuff. He know his thing. He probably priced something out the other day. And we're talking about a quart. <laughs> That's the little jug, not the big jug. Like I say, to do a service on one, you might as well get a gallon because you're going to might a gallon of transmission fluid. What's a gallon? Gallon is four quarts, right? Uh, 70, 140. It was a gallon of ATL, a gallon of ZF9 speed fluid, maybe 150 bucks tops. I don't know, but if you plan on draining and refilling it, you're going to need between four or five quarts. You're going to need the exact amount that come out of it. So I highly suggest you get a measuring apparatus to measure how much come out. Don't just let it flow in the drain bucket. You don't know what, what came out because you want to go right back in with the exact same amount. I got to wrap this up, guys. It's 9 o'clock. This YouTube thing is pretty easy. Hey, man. Hey, it's hard work. Don't hear me? Okay, it's I mean, it could be, but it's also hard work. And I, I didn't got too addicted to it. Right. <coughs> when I wake up, I'm back in your YouTube. What happened on YouTube? Later? Yeah, I got to get my life back. Wait a minute. OK, so but the channel I got. Oh, my goodness. I'm about to start. A, we'll talk later. All right. Uh, no, Dr. Hemi, stop that. I'll use the Valvoline stuff. Wait. Yeah. Valvoline multi-use fluid, guys is compatible to just about any transmission from my understanding i talked to a valvoline rep and you got to be careful getting the advice from these guys because their comments or their suggestion is going to appear extremely biased of course they're going to say it's compatible with every fluid they're trying to sell it to you why wouldn't they say it works with that too that car there oh that one too dog what about this? Yeah, we do it all, dog. You buy it, buy it, buy it. Like that AMSOIL stuff. Okay, yeah, so it's in their best interest to get it across the finish line. All right, external transmission filter. Moving van has an external transmission filter. When I did a change of the external transmission filter, there was nothing in the bottom. That's a good sign now. All right, not much coming apart. He did good. <laughs> Uh, Toledo, what's up, man? Yes, you can. That is possible. One of many cleans doesn't cover the engine and drivetrain. Look under the hood. Interesting point. I I like that truck. Yes. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm assuming you're talking about that Nissan. Where's all them people? <laughs> they a lot of them in a uh, pull apart. Uh, Wyman. Uh, I know you have heard of pull apart. Uh, that's they all over the place at pull apart. You driving it back to work with those? Yes, I have no choice. I'm about to upload a short talking exactly about that. The reason, and I got a spare in the back somewhere of the truck. So if something happened, I got insurance on it. Like I got liability. I got a barrel. I don't even got tags on it, man. So hopefully, I don't know. If I see a police. Guys, here's the thing about riding dirty. If you know you're riding dirty, you know you ain't right. You do not want to get caught without insurance, number one. So whatever you do, put insurance on anything you're driving. I mean, you can go up to the street to the gas station and something can happen. You can start the car and go down the street and something can happen. If you get caught with a, if you get pulled over and you don't have insurance on your vehicle, oh, you're talking about a nightmare. Anybody ever heard of SR22? All this stuff. You, this is a mechanic channel. All right. Anyway, I got insurance on it. That's all I care about right now. If I get pulled over and no tags, I will go get tags. Show that when I go to court and they will likely uh, dismiss the charge. Yes, I'm driving it to work. 100K miles. How long will this training clutch last? A clutch will last as long as, or <laughs> clutches 
can go a extra super long time if you're a real good driver and performing your shifts on time and when you should. Okay, so a clutch wear is dependent, basically, in my opinion, on how well the guy is driving it. If you're one that rides your clutch and power breaking, clutch breaking, and things like, of course, your clutch not going to last. So I suspect Alexander, you're fluent manual transmission operator so knowing that your clutch my clutch in my truck have i had that thing replaced i only got a hundred thousand miles on that truck guys not a lot of driving i only can't remember if i had the clutch replaced it's a stick uh but if you know how to drive a clutch uh a stick uh yeah your clutch will last forever guys i gotta wrap this up damn it's 9 15 change the filter in the el camino on the new transmission i purchased from AutoZone. i had oh yeah uh Mm, SEF fluid is not worth the money. Hey, Gene, stop it, man. Don't do that. That little Nissan hard body pickup. One of the best they made for that side. Boy, bow legged was in back then. All right, now they're going to 20s, 22s, nigga, 23s, nigga, 30s. Yeah, we was we was going outwards back in 95. Okay. Now these young thugs, now they're going taller and taller and freaking taller. Wait a minute. What is it? When does it end? I gotta go, man. Uh, hybrid Pacifico battery. Damn! Why, man? But that should never... I ain't going to say never. Up till now, that will likely not come out of a customer's pocket. Okay? Just about every vehicle out there, hybrid-related, is still on the battery warranty. Unless you done done some, a bunch of driving and you got a lot of miles. Yes, that's high. Okay? Uh, if it runs, I imagine people that own one of these, when their battery go out, they trading that sucker in. So it's going to be a lot of these hybrid vehicles for sale, but you need a 16. <laughs> oh, I don't know how this going to turn out. Guys, I got to go through these fairly quick because I got to wrap this up. Let me still get body parts. All right. Uh, the Auto Chronicles search. Uh, what do you recommend for 2013? What do I recommend about what? What do you recommend for 2013 Chrysler 300 with seven? What do I recommend? What? what? You mean as far as maintenance, what should be done? Is it a timing belt driven car? Is it a Hemi or three five or even a two seven? No, ain't no more two seven in twenty thirteen. So no, it's either a Pentastar or a Hemi on a twenty thirteen. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what you mean, man. My new channel is the Auto Chronicles. That's this, guys. This is my last thing I'm gonna do because uh, Dark Man is cool with me. Y'all go check out my man, Dark Man. This is the last thing I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna be able to get to the other comments. Uh, what did he say? The Auto Chronicle. My man channel is on the rise, and we're going to get it even further on the rise. Auto what? I always have a hard time with Dark Man's freaking The Auto Chronicles. He always naming his stuff crazy stuff. C H. What is that? R O N. Auto Chronicles. <clears throat> the Auto Chronicles or just Auto Chronicles? All right. Yeah, I see. I see. Uh, see, here go another one. Ooh, you pick one of them names that everybody got. <clears throat> I'm at the bottom of the comment section. Replace everything under the radiator. <laughs> Fluffy suggests. A two hundred thousand miles replace everything under the radiator cap. <laughs> so, ooh, that could get expensive. Uh, big dog. Uh, man, I saw you online the other night. It was twelve o'clock at night, man. What y'all talking about, man? Now I woke up the next morning. It was still on. I'm like, man, dude, it's daylight. What y'all talking about? Fluffy, be on there. It be on that forever, man. So, hey, y'all tune in to my man Fluff Dog too. I can't. Don't, don't hear me. I'm at the bottom of the comments. Where is you at? 1955. All right. You talking about this here? Is this Dark Hemi channel? Auto Chronicles, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me see how much short work. Uh, uh, appreciate that, Fluff Dog. Let me see how much short work uh, this guy put in. Is he a frequent? Okay. A couple. All right. Yeah. All right. Big dog. That's what I'm talking about. Dark Hemi. Get your flood, get your short game on, man. That's my uh my shorts don't get attention. Darhemi, 
No excuses, bro. <laughs> hey, Flop Dog, tell him, man. Ain't no excuses for these shorts, man. Let's get some shorts out there, man. Oh, ooh, 1967, 1955, 1961, 1963. What is this? Wait a minute, man. What hey, did I do? I sense some uh hostility here. Chrysler skill module replace key create directions and tech details. DRB3, what you know about that? I'm gonna have to check that one out. I'm gonna check all of them out when I get offline. Uh just get that converter from a scrap yard. But um y'all go where we at? Where we at? 245. All right, guys. It's still like 60 people, 50, 51, 52 people in here, man. Y'all, y'all, hey man, y'all gotta help your boy out, man. All right, it's me, JT, man. We go way back, man. We see eye to eye. Y'all go holler at my boy, my dog, uh, Darhemi, Auto Chronicles. I got his channel pulled up right here. Click that. Click the thumbs up. Yes, great. Click the thumbs up to this video as well. Well, go check out my man channel. Check out some of these. Uh, check out his videos and subscribe to his channel. Let's get them numbers up. All right, but in the meantime, yes, my man growing. We're going to grow some more, baby. It's all about growth here on youtube all right uh listen guys i gotta head out okay again it's auto chronicles not the auto chronicles all right so what we're gonna do here i'm gonna shut this down i don't know how much delay was coming on i got i got a bunch of stuff going on in here i have to rearrange everything i gotta get my studio back because i have work studio i have music to produce for people that's want tracks and that's money i can't just that is my that was my number one thing before youtube took over so now that i got the channel running on autopilot i can get back to this and i got a i got a lot of stuff going on so i don't know how this video came out i'm seeing delay when i move one second later my hands will move but um we got through this okay uh i gotta go guys yeah man what's up man only 34 likes yeah, it's 50 people in here. What y'all want to talk about that? I got two more minutes. We can't get a topic out in two minutes, though. I don't think they can. What was Dark Man said something? Uh, I don't think they can legally sell used converters and they are worth too much in scrap now. Yeah, that would be risky stuff. We have Hurricane coming. Got to prep. Uh oh, man, be safe. Uh, You're not talking about a car, is you talking about an actual hurricane? Got to prep. Okay. Just realized the green screen wasn't up. Yes, not today. It was choppy. It's over there. Well, you can't see over there. But um, I got yeah, I got a lot of stuff going on. Sixty eight likes. That's what's up. Sixty six. Paul P. The feed definitely froze. Skipped a couple of times. Thank you, Paul P. I I gotta figure out is it this camera? Because if so, I'm not gonna use it anymore. And a lot of it have to do. I remember I told y'all uh, I found out the hard way that. When you live streaming, you need to be hardwired to your computer instead of uh, the wireless router. Think about all that transmission going. I don't care if you got high speed, super high speed internet. Your computer may not be uh, strong enough to grasp the data from the wireless router. So because I got a cord running from in here, all oh, she don't like that at all. I got a cord running from here all the way to the router that's in there. I have to unplug it when I'm done just so I can have some decent live stream, but Keep that in mind if y'all live streaming and you get a lot of delay. But in this case, I think it's this camera. So did you get your door screen? No. Oh, uh, no. I stopped. I was in there. I think I'm going the wrong way. Who is this? Todd. And I got, you know, the two pipes, the two things, and you tighten the damn bolts. You turn. Oh, it gets tighter and tighter. It's some, I had a mental block, and I because it's my house and my property and my garage, and there's nobody paying me. I said, the hell with it. I'll do it tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to turn into next week. I think I'm going to get a lot done on this upcoming day off. We got a holiday coming up. Oh, my goodness. You're talking about much needed. Guys, that's the only thing that pretty much slows me down and settles me down and calms me down when we have a forced day off. Okay? Because if I know that shop is open, my dumb butt going to be in there trying to work and make money. So if the shop closed, yes. Thank goodness, all right, because I I don't know. I don't know what it is about me. I just I can't I, I just have a hard time passing up an opportunity to make some more money. That that can be unhealthy. Okay. I didn't refresh 34 likes. 
when I came in. Guys, I have to roll. Most of the critical stuff here is hardwired. Uh, most of the critical hardwired networking, just the phones and tablets are. Yeah. So, but I'm just saying, if you live streaming, the best route to go is a hardwire from the router to your computer. It helps me out a lot. I'm out. That's all I have. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. I see y'all Thursday. A lot going on now between now and Thursday, man. Um, that's all I have, man. I'm going to go ahead and grab something to eat. I appreciate y'all. Let me upload one more short and a full video. Y'all be done with me. <laughs> Some of y'all guys, there's one guy like, dude, man, I be on my phone. I got the notification. JT just uploaded another one. I be like, damn, but I still hit play and watch it. Y'all addicted, man. Hey, y'all might want to take a break, man. Don't let me burn y'all out on me. All right? I'm not going to get burned out because some of the stuff you watching like today and yesterday and, and yesterday is stuff I filmed a week ago or two weeks ago. All right? So the stuff you see tomorrow is stuff I edited last week or two weeks ago. I'm that far behind. I'm way behind, actually. Okay, I got a bag full of... SD cards with footage on it. I just have to find time to upload or edit. The struggle is real. Yes, it is. I'm out.